This week, Kentucky Republican Nick Wilson, this guy, sponsored House Bill 269, which would, wait for it, legalize incestuous relationships between first cousins. Yeah. Newsweek explains a Kentucky Republican has introduced the legislation that would amend the state's law so a person who had sex with their first cousin would no longer be criminally liable for incest. Kentucky law states that a person is guilty of incest if they engage in sexual relations with a person they know to be, quote, his or her parent, child, grandparent, grandchild, great grandparent, great grandchild, uncle, aunt, nephew, niece, brother, sister, first cousin, ancestor, or descendant. The amendment introduced by Wilson, if passed, would remove first cousin from this list. Now, Kentucky journalist Tessa Duval shared a screenshot of the text in question. And if you look at line 13 here, you can see, uh, yep, he just uh, crossed off first cousin from the list, which would uh, legalize sexual intercourse between first cousins in the state of Kentucky. Now, this absolutely blew up online with everyone laughing at him and rightfully so by the way but what made this even more viral is the fact that we're not just talking about any republican here nick wilson is actually the winner of the 37th season of survivor called david versus goliath and he then came back for another season season 41 titled survivor winners at war so it's not just the political community that was laughing at him. It's also the survivor community, which is actually pretty large, that was laughing at him as well. Everyone teamed up to dunk on Nick Wilson for presumably wanting to fuck his cousin. Although, who knows? He just wrote the bill, right? Now, other survivors even made TikTok reacting to his bill. Case in point. Oh my God, I've got some wild news. I'm Eliza Orleans, career public defender in Manhattan for the last 14 years, but also, as some of you may know, I was a contestant on Survivor Vanuatu and Survivor Micronesia fans versus favorites. This news relates to David vs. Goliath winner of Survivor, uh, Nick Wilson, who then leveraged the fame that he obtained from winning Survivor to run for Kentucky State Legislature and get elected. Nick Wilson is not only supporting but has introduced a bill that would reclassify incest in the state of Kentucky to not include your own first cousin. Kentucky, like so many other places, is facing a lot of issues, and this is Nick's top legislative priority. He is sponsoring this bill, and in fact, he has introduced this bill. Now, we're just seeing a small snapshot of the reaction, uh, because it would take too long if I tried to give you the totality of the reaction to this, because it's, it's about what you'd expect, right? So... Long story short, they're roasting the shit out of him, but he did respond to the backlash and he claims that it's not what it looks like. He's saying it was an accident. He didn't mean to accidentally legalize incest. <laughs> just, just saying that sentence out loud, it's just like, <laughs> oh, God damn. Anyways. On his official Facebook page, he writes, I filed HB 269 yesterday. The purpose of the bill is to add sexual contact to the incest statute. Currently, incest only applies in cases of intercourse. So sexual touching slash groping by uncles, stepdads, or anyone with a familial relationship is not included in incest. My bill makes that kind of sexual contact a class D felony unless the victim is under the age of 12. Then it increases the penalty to a class C felony. During the drafting process, there was an inadvertent change which struck first cousins from the list of relationships included under the incest statute, and I failed to add it back in. During today's session, I will withdraw HB 269 and refile a bill with the first cousin language intact. The fact that I was able to file a bill, catch the mistake, withdraw the bill, and refile within a 24-hour period shows that we have a good system whatever you say this is a bill to combat a problem of familial and cyclical abuse that transcends generations of kentuckians i understand that i made a mistake but i sincerely hope my mistake doesn't hurt the chances of the corrected version of the bill it is a good bill and i hope it will get a second chance now that is a hell of a fuck up to make but regardless if you think it's an honest mistake or not 
Nobody in his district seemingly believes him. There weren't more than 20 replies to this post, but not a single one of them thought that he was telling the truth. And this is just kind of a small snapshot of some of the responses. But I mean, they were dunking on him. You see memes about how his cousin might be reacting and a twist on the don't tread on me flag that says don't DNA test me. Now, somebody actually responded to a different post about a different topic, and they shared an image of Michael Sarah's character from Arrested Development, which says Representative Nick Wilson on his way to make it legal to bang his cousins. Now, for those who've never seen the show michael Sarah's character has a crush on his cousin so there's the context now funny enough he actually replied to this one saying please see my recent post i understand the stereotype and that i may be the butt of some jokes i can take it but please be mindful of the people i am trying to protect now when it comes to eliza orleans the fellow survivor alum that made the tiktok she also seemingly does not believe him because two hours after he made that post she reposted the text of the law with first cousin conspicuously striked out and just said okay so nobody's really buying it now, if I were to just look at the part that Eliza had shared, I'd probably agree with her that he's probably lying. But if you zoom out and you look at lines four and five, we'll put both tweets on the screen so you can see what I mean. His explanation does check out, at least in part. He is expanding the definition of incest to include sexual contact, and that is important. It's a loophole that may allow sexual predators to escape accountability, so it is important that he's doing that, and he does have evidence that this is indeed what he wanted to do. And I'll admit that him striking first cousin in the first place is extremely bizarre. It's a weird mistake mistake to make in the first place and to not unstrike it is also very strange but if he actually introduces an edited version then the legislation would do what he says it would do it would increase penalties for incestuous predators and that's a good thing so i do actually believe that this was an honest mistake and i'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt assuming the error is corrected and the bill is reintroduced by the time you see this video we'll see what happens but Having said that, though, we absolutely should not let him off the hook entirely. And I say this because even if this little shitstorm that he stirred up inadvertently, seemingly if we're being extra charitable here, never happened, this is still a bad person. Nick Wilson is still a Republican who is predictably using his power in harmful ways. People Magazine reports, on the evening of March 16th, this is 2023, both chambers of Kentucky's Republican-majority legislature passed SB 150, a bill that begins with the words, an act relating to children. Initially, the bill allowed teachers to use pronouns aligned with their students' biological sex, even if the student didn't identify with them. But as the debate went on, the bill was expanded to include additional provisions. Among other things, the bill includes a ban on gender affirming care for trans youth. Doctors would be required to set a timeline to detransition children already taking puberty blockers or undergoing hormone therapy. The bill also prohibits schools from discussing sexual orientation or gender identity with students of any age and prohibits discussing human sexuality or sexually transmitted diseases before the sixth grade. The controversial bill easily passed the Senate by a vote of 30 to 7, but one of the freshman lawmakers in particular has received consent considerable national attention and backlash for supporting it, Representative Nick Wilson. Before he took office, Wilson was a reality star on America's longest-running reality TV show. So Nick Wilson is no hero. He is a terrible person who supported a draconian crackdown on LGBTQ plus rights that literally forces teenagers to detransition, which puts them at greater risk of suicide. It's monstrous. Now, the harm that he did was actually explained to him by fellow Survivor castmates. For example, Christian Hubicki, who competed against Wilson, tweeted this. Gender-affirming care is a lifesaver for transgender youth. So says the scientific evidence, as these major medical associations have recommended access to comprehensive gender-affirming care for transgender youth and issued policies and detailed guidelines for its use. He then links to the evidence in a follow-up tweet. Also, fellow Survivor winner Adam Klein, who competed against Against Wilson on Winners at War, subtweeted him saying, quote, I am heartbroken and angry at the way trans people and especially trans children are being discriminated against all over this country. We are going so, so backwards. If you take away gender affirming care from a kid who needs it, you are on the so, so, so wrong side of history. 
On top of that, People Magazine continues. Ricard Foyer, who competed on Survivor 41 and is part of a long-term queer couple, tells People that he first met Wilson at a charity event and they immediately hit it off. Quote, I valued what I thought was an authentic relationship that we had built despite our differences, he says. But Foyer now sees the friendship differently. Quote, it is hard to feel so understood, so seen by a person while I shared the transitioning process, healthcare woes, and the lack of humanity we experienced just being queer and living in this world. Foya continues, and then after all of that, for that person to turn around and vote for essentially criminalizing being trans, I am not a lesser human for who I am, nor is my husband. However, Nick Wilson is a lesser human for not treating the people of this country, and especially the amazing trans youth of Kentucky, as human beings and using their rights and freedoms as means of gaining popularity in his political ventures. Also, two-time Survivor contestant Eliza Orlins, who also made the TikTok about him, if you'll remember, who ran for district attorney in Manhattan in 2020, also expressed her outrage at the bill and Wilson. Quote, Nick Wilson is a bigoted, cruel person who is using his Survivor platform to harm kids and families in Kentucky, she tells People. It's disgusting to see him not just vote for, but in fact, sponsor horrific transphobic legislation. It's hateful and discriminatory. As someone who ran for office myself, to watch Nick use his voice and his political position to actively hurt people is awful to witness. Exactly. And seeing this context, it makes more sense as to why Eliza wasn't really willing to give him the benefit of the doubt when it comes to the incestuous kerfuffle. Now, to make matters worse, we now know that Nick is not ignorant because he became friends with Ricard, who was a member of the LGBTQ plus community. This is a gay man who is married to a trans man whose husband was literally pregnant while he was on Survivor. So to build up that friendship with somebody who's marginalized, who tells you about their community only to be thrown under the bus by your friend. I'm sorry, that just makes you a really shady person. And once again, Nick responded to the backlash and uh, he's a. Uh, He's insufferable. We'll just put it that way. He says, quote, I am shocked by the collective outrage and the number of people who believe this topic is black and white without room for debate. I didn't cast my vote out of hate, but out of compassion. Yeah, this is what literally every single bigot ever says. Oh, you know, we don't hate the uh, the sinner. We hate the sin. Fuck off. Listen, in conclusion, I think that he may have plausible deniability when it comes to wanting to fuck his cousin, right? We'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. But make no mistake about it. This is a cruel, heartless person who was denounced by his own friends because a harmful bill that he supported is now law in the state of Kentucky. And that is a damn shame. So maybe we shouldn't shame him and make fun of him for wanting to fuck his cousin. But he should absolutely be ridiculed for the harmful legislation that he supported that hurts trans youth. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, game, Pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Pride.